In 2023 alone, the total global ERND spend reached a whooping 1.8 trillion US dollars. Despite not being a top spender, India has emerged as a crucial player in the global ERND outsourcing market. Out of the 1.8 trillion dollar global ERND spend, about 15 percentage or roughly 270 to 280 billion dollars is outsourced to other countries. And India is a major recipient of this outsourcing brings us to the most important part of this video, the opportunities for Indian engineers like you. What does this growing ERND outsourcing market mean for you? Let's explore the major sectors and some of their subdomains. The first sector we'll be looking at is the automotive sector. The next sector we are going to look at is the aerospace and defense sector. The next sector, let's look at consumer electronics. The final sector that I wanted to look at today's video is energy, utilities and oil and gas. So if you are a mechanical, electrical or civil engineer and if you are skilled with the right skill sets, your ability to build a strong career in any of these sectors is very very strong. Hello friends, welcome back to Engineer. In our first episode, we explored the exciting world of ERND and its impact on engineering careers. We discovered the massive investments being made in research and development, opening up a wealth of opportunities for engineers across various disciplines. If you missed part one, don't worry, we have linked it in the description below. Now let's build on that foundation and dive deeper into some critical questions. Today. We will explore which countries lead the R&D race, how much R&D is done in-house versus outsourced, and how much of this is outsourced to India along with the skills companies are looking for in Indian engineers. First, let's look at the global landscape of R&D spending. In 2023 alone, the total global R&D spend reached a whooping 1.8 trillion US dollars. This massive investment is spread primarily across three major regions the Americas, APAC or Asia Pacific, and EMEA, Europe, Middle East, and Africa regions. But even within these regions, three countries stand out as leaders in ERD spending. The first is the United States, with a staggering $645 billion in ERD spends. China comes in strong at number 2 with $280 billion and Germany follows closely behind at $145 billion. Together, these three countries contribute a whooping 70% of the total global R&D spend. Other significant spenders include Korea and Japan in Asia Pacific, France, UK and the Nordics in Europe. Now, you might be wondering, where does India stand in all this? Well. While India isn't currently among the top 10 ERD spenders, there's a very exciting story unfolding. Despite not being a top spender, India has emerged as a crucial player in the global ERD outsourcing market. Out of the $1.8 trillion global ERD spend, about 15 percentage or roughly 270 to 280 billion dollars is outsourced to other countries. And India is a major recipient of this outsourcing. India's strength in R&D outsourcing stems from three key factors. The first is engineering talent. A vast pool of skilled engineers with over 1.5 million engineering graduates annually. This talent pool is continuously growing and improving through various educational and professional development programs. The second is cost efficiency. The cost of engineering services in India is significantly lower compared to Western countries. This cost advantage makes India a highly attractive destination for multinational companies looking to optimize their R&D budgets. The third is an established ecosystem. A well-established ecosystem of engineering service providers and global capability centers that have built strong relationships with multinational corporations. Companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro and HCL have extensive experience in delivering ERD services across various industries. Looking deeper, India's share in the global ERD outsourcing market is projected to increase significantly. As of 2023, India holds 17% of this market. By 2030, this share is expected to rise 
to 22 percentage driven by two key factors one is scale of engineering talent india's large pool of engineering talent continues to grow with significant investments in developing next gen skills especially in areas like ai and digital services second is established relationship and trust indian firms have built strong relationships over time through successful past collaborations making them preferred partners for global companies looking to outsource their ERD needs now let's take a closer look at the growth of ERD outsourcing to india the overall ERD spend is growing at 9 to 10 percentage projected to reach roughly 3.3 trillion us dollars by 2030 not only is the ERD spend increasing but companies are also planning to increase the share of outsourcing by 2030 Outsourcing is expected to grow from 15% to 24% of the total ERD spend, which translates to around $800 billion. But why are these companies outsourcing their ERD? There are five key reasons. The first one is cost optimization and talent access. Outsourcing helps companies manage costs while tapping into a vast pool of skilled talent. The second is market expansion. Outsourcing helps in establishing a presence in new markets and leveraging a local expertise. Third, technological ecosystem. Companies benefit from the technological infrastructure and innovation capabilities in other regions. The fourth reason is agility and scalability. Outsourcing offers the flexibility to scale operations up or down very quickly. And the last reason is strategic partnerships. Forming alliances with local firms enhances capabilities and drives innovation. This brings us to the most important part of this video, the opportunities for Indian engineers like you. What does this growing ERD outsourcing market mean for you? Let's dive into the specific subdomains within the ERD sectors where Indian engineers like you can make their mark. To make it easier to navigate the vast ERD landscape, Let's explore the major sectors and some of their subdomains where Indian engineers can get opportunities. The first sector we'll be looking at is the automotive sector. Let's go through some of the key focus areas in this sector. In the automotive sector, the first focus area is electrification and electric vehicles. As you know, with the EV market growing at a rapid pace, there's a huge demand for engineers specializing in battery technology, power electronics and EV infrastructure. So if you are someone who wants to be in that particular domain, those are the skill sets that you should have. The second focus area in automotive sector is autonomous and connected vehicles. The development of ADAS and sensor technologies are driving demand for expertise in automation and connectivity. So if you are someone who wants to get into autonomous vehicles, technologies that you should know is ADAS and sensor technologies. The third focus area is software and connectivity. You would have heard about terms like infotainment systems, over the air updates, and cybersecurity in automotives also. These technologies are creating opportunities for engineers' skill in software development and network security. As you know, if you are someone who is interested in software development and network security and want to get into automotive sector, these are the areas that you should take up. The fourth focus area is vehicle design innovations. Engineers focusing on lightweight materials, aerodynamics and innovative manufacturing technologies can find exciting opportunities in this particular area. The fifth focus area in automotives is enhanced vehicle safety. With a lot of focus in crashworthiness, pedestrian protection and safety systems now being more prevalent, it opens up many doors in this industry for people who focus on structural engineering. The next sector we are going to look at is the aerospace and defense sector. The five key area of focus in this sector is sustainable aviation, which is nothing but the push towards greener aviation technologies like electric propulsion, biofuels is creating new avenues for engineers. The second focus area is cyber security. Protecting avionics and communication systems from cyber threats is critical, making cybersecurity a hot skill in the aviation sector as well. The third focus area is additive manufacturing. 
3D printing for weight reduction and cost saving is revolutionizing aerospace manufacturing, thus creating more opportunities for engineers who are skilled in those areas. The fourth focus area is hypersonic flight and space travel. Developing technologies for faster and more efficient space exploration is a rapidly growing field and has huge opportunities for engineers like you. The fifth and the last focus area in aerospace is autonomous flight. Very similar to automotives, even in aerospace, drones, UAVs and urban air mobility solutions are expanding at a fast pace. This creates a lot of demand for skilled engineers in this particular field. The next sector, let's look at consumer electronics. The key focus areas in this sector starts from foldable and flexible displays. You might have already started seeing devices with foldable and flexible displays and this is led by innovations in OLED and micro LED technologies. The second focus area is AI and voice assistant. Integration of AI for smart home devices and personal assistant is growing rapidly. The third focus area is quantum computing. Developing quantum processes for faster computation is an emerging field. The fourth focus area is wearable technologies. Smart clothing, health monitoring devices and augmented reality glasses are on the rise. The fifth focus area in consumer electronics is smart home appliances. IoT enabled devices for home automation and energy efficiency are becoming very common. Consumer electronics is a field that is growing at a rapid pace, very similar to aerospace and automotive. If you are an engineer, especially in electronics, electrical or mechanical engineering, consumer electronics provides you great opportunities and the key focus areas that we just explained provides you an understanding of where you can focus on. The final sector that I wanted to look in today's video is energy, utilities and oil and gas. The key focus areas in this sector starts from decarbonization technologies. Carbon capture, utilization and storage, shortly called as CCUS, are crucial for reducing emissions. The second focus area is renewable energy integration. Solar, wind and hydroelectric power solutions are key to sustainable energy. The third focus area is digitization in operations. Smart grids, digital twins and predictive maintenance are transforming this sector. The fourth area of focus is energy storage solutions. Advancements in battery technology and grid storage are essential for managing renewable energy. The fifth focus area is EV charging infrastructure. Developing efficient and widespread EV charging networks is critical for the adoption of electric vehicles. So if you observed the key sectors that we spoke about and their focus areas, there's a lot of overlap and intersection. So if you are a mechanical, electrical or civil engineer, and if you are skilled with the right skill sets, your ability to build a strong career in any of these sectors is very, very strong. Now, let's talk about the specific industry skills that are in demand across various ERD sectors. These industry specific skills will help Indian engineers like you better align yourselves with the need of global ERD markets and take advantage of the growing outsourcing opportunities. If you are interested in the aerospace sector, honing your skills in mechanics, materials, testing and prototyping will be highly valuable. Similarly, for the automotive sector, expertise in mechanics, structures, fluids, along with proficiency in a CAD software for 2D and 3D modeling and a computer-aided engineering software for analyzing structural fluid flow or multi-body simulations will be advantageous. When you learn these softwares, please make sure you understand the physics behind it. Only knowing to click buttons will not help you. Moving to consumer electronics, a strong foundation in mechanics, electrical circuit design and microcontroller based system will equip you for success and for those drawn to the energy utilities and oil and gas sector. A combination of mechanical, fluid dynamics and geophysical skills will be highly sought after. If you are interested in industrial and construction fields, proficiency in mechanics along with familiarity with CAD software for basic 2D and 3D modeling and material science will be a strong foundation. Now let's shift gears to embedded electrical engineers. Here are the skill set requirements that vary depending on the chosen sector. For the aerospace sector, expertise in embedded system, verification and validation will be key. In the automotive sector, a strong grasp of microcontrollers and their applications along with a solid understanding of electrical circuit theory and basic components is very crucial. 
Similar to mechanical engineering, those drawn to consumer electronics will benefit from expertise in embedded systems, verification and validation. And for those interested in energy utility and oil and gas sector, a combination of skills in microcontrollers, electrical circuit theory and basic components is very essential. If you are aiming for the semiconductor sector, a deeper dive into microcontroller applications along with analog, digital and mixed signal circuit design and VLSI and electronic design automation, also known as EDA, will be very necessary. Finally, for the telecommunication sector, proficiency in microcontrollers and mastery of technologies like DWDM, CWDM, Sonet, OTN, Ethernet, IP, GMPLS and 5G will position you for success. By focusing on these industry specific skills, Indian engineers like you can significantly enhance your employability in global ERND outsourcing market. As we have seen, the ERND sector is full of exciting opportunities across various subdomains. By honing the right skills and staying informed about the industry trends, Indian engineers like you can position yourself at the forefront of innovation and contribute to this rapidly growing market. So make sure you choose the area that you want to focus on and build expertise on that. Now, before you go, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this exploration of the ERND landscape and the opportunity it holds for Indian engineers like you. Don't forget to share this video with your fellow engineers who might be interested. Subscribe to Skillnik to stay updated on the latest trends and insights that's shaping the world of engineering. Thank you.